Hey everyone, welcome back to Automate with Amit. In my previous video, I have covered how you can generate hundreds of XPath using one prompt. But there was one problem in that particular video or you can say the way we were uh, you know, generating hundreds of XPath, there was one issue. That uh, process was completely manual and you have to go and find out outer HTML, copy that and then paste it into the chat GPT and then only you were able to generate hundreds of XPath or any number of XPaths. But in this video, we are going to discuss how you can use AI tools or not specifically chat GPT UI, but how you can leverage APIs and how you can generate the XPaths and you can create a AI tool for your task of generating XPath for the whole web page in just few clicks. Okay, just to showcase how this works, I have created a Chrome extension. So if you see over here, if you uh, click on this particular icon, this opens one, uh, uh, one pop-up like this, a generate XPath and copy all. There are some buttons and there is one place, uh, click generate XPath to gen analyze the current page. And if you click on generate XPath, then it is going to generate all the XPaths of the web elements. Okay, so if I just quickly click on generate XPath, it is calling Gemini AI. So basically, if you see over here, I have used Gemini AI from Google Studio. So as soon as I click generate XPath, it has taken uh, this page into consideration and it has created all the XPaths for different web elements present over here. If you see over here, uh, LinkedIn uh, icon link, which is present over here and Facebook icon link, which is present over here, Twitter and uh, what else, YouTube icon link. So it has all these values over here and I can just click on copy all and it can copy all these values and I can simply go and uh, paste it over here. Okay, so this is how it, can generate all the XPath in one go for a particular web page. Now the question comes how I have created all this XPath and how it is working in the backend, right? So let's dive into how I have created first and then we'll go ahead how you can also generate or create such AI tools without having any proper coding knowledge. So if you don't have much coding knowledge also then also you can be able to create such ai tools for your company and if you are working in an organization where you are working for qa related tasks so i am going to bring more and more videos like this to create some ai tools so that you can leverage ai in your day-to-day -day testing activities but before we begin please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new over here i create videos related to IT and uh, you know AI tools testing and other career related stuff so it is going to be helpful for you as well and it is for free okay so let's come back on the screen so over here if I just showcase you the code base I have created the XPath AI extension over here but don't worry if you don't know how to create such AI extensions and all. I, I am going to give all this code base to you for free. So stay till the end and I am going to provide the information how you can use all this on your local system without having any knowledge. And you will be able to import this and straightforward will be able to use this Chrome extension on your system. So let's uh, see what is here, okay? So first of all, I have uh, used this XPath AI extension. So over here, there are certain files, api.js, content.js don't have anything. And other thing, uh, dom.js, this is getting used to, you know, uh, to, uh, you know, extract outer HTML elements. So if you are following or if you have gone through my previous video, then uh, you must be understanding how we are exactly fetching the outer HTML. So those who don't, uh, I highly recommend you to go and watch that video as well. 
I am going to cover this very quickly over here. So if you right click on inspect over here and uh, here if you see this represent the DOM or data object model okay document object model sorry. So over here right click and if you click on copy then copy outer HTML. So using this basically we are trying to generate XPath for different web elements. But over here what we are doing we are fetching this outer HTML programmatically okay. So over here this popup dot HTML is just to you know uh, define or design the popup uh, which you see over here upon clicking. So this particular uh, you know popup which is appearing over here this popup dot HTML is this code. Also um, I have created API dot JS so basically I am using I am using uh, Gemini API so uh, so you can also create this code to use Gemini API for free so they have free credits so you can uh, you know use it for free uh, there are some you know limitations uh, in free plans so I have used Gemini just because it has free plans and uh, you need not to purchase a upfront anything in open API and uh, chat GPT if you want then you can uh, you know there is only way to purchase and then only you will be able to use that but in case of Gemini this is very helpful to uh, for the new uh, you know uh, beginners to use it and uh, create something and then if requires you can purchase uh, more thing. Okay so over here uh, I have created this call Gemini API so here I am using the uh, API key which you have to create in Google AI studio I will tell you how you can generate this API key also uh, for now I am using mine API key uh, do not worry I am going to delete this after I upload this so you have to replace this with your actual key. So uh, over here another thing if you see over here I have used I am using this prompt so over here if you see you are an expert in expert generation for UI test automation for the following HTML elements generate XPath in this format only and I have given the prompt over here so using which it is going to generate the results in a specific format okay. So over here uh, this is the api.js uh, dom.js basically once we fetch the results uh, once we fetch the outer HTML we are extracting relevant HTMLs okay. So tags basically we are uh, you know uh, extracting here if you see input button anchor select and text area like this we have uh, you know uh, selected all those elements which have all these things. You can change this according to you, your use case or if you wanted to create this more robust or according to your use cases you can add lots of many things in here but just uh, to showcase you I have created this and uh, this is basically just to extract the HTML elements api.js to uh, you know interact with Gemini API popup.js okay so in here if you see popup.js basically in here I am creating uh, you know all the functionality related to the popup uh, I have generated this all code using chat GPT so you need not to you know uh, understand each and every line I will uh, showcase you how I have generated it and I will uh, you know uh, upload that link also whatever is uh, I have used for generating the chat GPT uh, so that document also you can get in, uh, in the link I will be sharing in I will let you know how you can access all these uh, materials so stay tuned and I am going to provide that information as well. But for now uh, over here uh, we have gone through all these uh, documents and all these uh, code files so so this is uh, styles.css file just to you know format the pop-up how we have used. Okay so now I am going to tell you how you can use this chrome extension and uh, use it on your local system. So first of all you have to go in description and I have provided the link in description so you have to click on that particular link and you will be redirected on this page where I have created this AI expert generator 
uh, link and uh, you can get it for free once you click on uh, get this for free then you are going to get this particular git repository so you have to clone this git repository in uh, your local system somewhere and uh, for this i would recommend you to use uh, vs code so if you don't have vs code on your system then make sure you uh, download that on your system okay so once you get this github repository so once you go on this here i have provided the readme file and in here i have step by step provided how you can use this and uh, you have to go on uh, google chrome installed you have to you have to generate a gemini api key and you have to go on this particular uh, website and once you go on that website in here you have to click on get api key or create api key so once you create once api key you have to select the project any any project basically if you don't have any project then you have to create one and once you uh, are able to generate that particular api key you have to copy that api key and paste it in the place where i have shown you once you generated gemini api key basically you have to go on this installation guide and over here you have to clone this repository and then load the extension in your chrome so for that you have uh, to have google chrome and then you have to go on this chrome uh, hyphen double slash extensions and over here you have to load uh, click on load unpacked and you can select the uh, path of that particular file so over here like i have to select this xpath ai generator and just i have to click on the select button once you select this then this is gonna export it or import it like an extension over here and you have to pin this up by clicking on this particular button and you have to pin this and that way it is gonna be pinned in your uh, xpath uh, or in your bookmark of chrome so after that you will be able to use this like i shown you so for that now uh, you can go on any particular website and then once you click on this and then you are able to click on generate xpath and this should be calling the gemini api and all the links should get generated and in one go okay you can also generate for any other page as well so if i just go in here and then if i just go on this one and log in in here then then also if i try to you know generate this let's suppose i am going to uh, uh, go on this page and click on generate xpath then it is going to take some time maybe one or few seconds then uh, it is going to give me all the uh, xpaths present on this page okay so maybe uh, this has sometime uh, it may you know uh, your tokens may exceed or there are some other problems also but you will get all the xpaths in here like here so in one click only you have generated all the xpaths in here now again uh, as an enhancement what you can do you can provide one uh, text box and you can give some custom messages like uh, you know uh, you can give some custom message that i just want the x paths of this menu items and it is going to generate the x path of those things only and going forward uh, what we can do we can create some more you know add on features or you can we can create some more tools uh, just to you know uh, leverage more of this xpath and other things also you know we can integrate multiple things in one place so that that could be the uh, so that was all in this particular video if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because i am going to share more and more videos like this and if you have any particular uh, comment or if you want to suggest something please do suggest in the comments and i am going to take those things in consideration maybe in next videos and also if you want to work with me or you want to learn more 
such ideas how you can create this type of tools end to end you can uh, join my membership on youtube and also you can support me by subscribing and we can build these things together